Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, bring you guys an unturned 3.0 informational video showing you guys how you can add custom thumbnails and loading screens to your own levels that you have created yourself in the level editor. So some of you guys I know are awesome level editors. I mean, some of you guys are making phenomenal maps and a lot of you guys probably want to upload them to community maps for people to download. And one way that you can make your maps more professional looking and more personalized is by adding a custom thumbnail and loading screen to them. So so if you guys go on the editor or in single player, you'll notice that the dev test map has this thumbnail on it. And also when you load it, it has this thumbnail of the farmland of the dev test map from over here. So it's like a little snapshot of like this angle right here. So it has like a, a little custom loading screen. And I'm going to show you guys how you can make one of those yourself and you can add even more than just a simple screenshot. Um, you're going to need some sort of image editing software, whether it's Photoshop or GIMP or even Paint, even you can use that. Obviously, if you have some sort of fancy editing program, you can make a fancier picture. But I'm going to be using Photoshop myself. Most of the things that I do are pretty much exactly the same on different programs. So in order to make the thumbnail, which is the image that's like on the button uh, that you click in order to play it in single player or edit it in the level editor, you have to create a 380 by 80 pixel image. And let me just make that real quick. 380 by 80. It has to be exactly that. If it's not, then it just simply won't work. It just won't load. So when you click OK, your image should be lengthwise and, and really long like this. And it should look like the same size as the dev test one. And you're obviously going to need to fill it up with some sort of image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the game and take a snapshot of my world. You don't need to do that. Of course, it's your own thumbnail. You could even upload like a real life picture of your face or something. Um, but I'm just going to fancify this bridge level and create a level of my own or a thumbnail of my own. And so I think I'm going to take a snapshot of the bridge because this is the only thing in this world. If you guys want to know how to make a bridge like this, I will link the tutorial video in the description down below. But anyway, I'd recommend turning off the visibility of all of this stuff so that way it doesn't get in the way of your snapshot. If you click home, it will toggle the HUD on and off, which is super cool for taking snapshots. And then I'm just going to click print screen and then We'll go back into Photoshop and we will paste that image into here. So obviously this is really big. I, I'm, I have two monitors. So like it's as you can see, it's it's like split between that when you click print screen. That's why it's really long. But anyway, so we'll just do that. It's too small like so. Maybe like that. Looks pretty good. Once we've done that, I don't really want to do anything else. If you'd like, you could put some sort of image or text on it, but keep in mind that on the button, it also has words on it and it'll tell you the size of the map. And if you put text on this image, it will be covered up by the actual text on the button. So I'm going to fancify mine a little bit by adding my own little image. I think I'm just going to add my profile icon, which I'm not sure what it is. There it is. There we go. I can add it to the side over here. There we go. So it looks really pixelated when you're up close, but when you zoom out like this, where it's actually the size that it would be on the icon, it looks a lot better. So from here, we're going to save it. And this is where it's like 100% important. It has to be exactly this. So you have to name it icon. No caps, no nothing, no spaces, no dilly dallying, just icon. If you don't save it as that, it just simply won't load. And then it also has to be a PNG file. And then you're going to save it into your maps folder. If you want to know how to get to that, basically just go to your local disk, program files, down to Steam. Where's Steam? Steam? There's Steam. Then down to Steam Apps, Common, down to Unturned, Maps. Click on the map that you want to have the icon on. Mine is Bridge. Yours is going to be different and save it into here. Don't go any, into any of these folders, just save it here and click Save. Then click OK. And the next time that you load Unturned, when you go into single player or into the level editor, you will notice that it now has a fancy logo on it. And it's got my little character right there looking pretty good. I would have gone a little bit fancier. I probably would have added like a vignette and a drop shadow on my guy. But just for the sake of time, I, um, I, I just did that. But anyway, so now that we've got our fancy thumbnail, we now want to add our loading screen. And this is where you can get even fancier because it doesn't have the level text and all that stuff in the way. 
um, it will just simply be the loading screen. It's what you see when your map is loading. So it's once again one of those instances where the resolution has to be exactly correct and the name has to be exactly th correct. But obviously this one is a different resolution. And this one is 1280 by 719 pixels. Same pixels per inch, all that stuff. And click OK and it should look like this. And I'm going to paste the same image that we pasted from before. If you want to have a different uh, perspective or anything, you can do that. And I think now that I have more opportunity to put stuff in here, I think I'm going to add some fancier stuff. So I might do like, uh, let's see, I'll do my little name here, put it up at the top. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll put a drop shadow on it. Maybe add a vignette on it. Filter lens correction custom vignette. There we go. Looking pretty good. Maybe we want to add our, th our little icon again. Maybe if you're a big part of the Unturned community or something, you want to link your other maps that you've made. So you can maybe do like your website or something. All right, so I just made a really quick one. It's kind of ugly. Of course, on your own one, you can get super fancy with it. But I'm just going to leave it at that. And from here, you're going to save it into the same location as before. It's once again going to be another PNG file. Except this one is going to be called Level, with a capital L. Once you've typed that in, you can click Save. And now when you load the level, whether it's in single player or in the level editor, now when it's loading, it will have that thumbnail. So I'm going to click Edit, and it will have this loading screen. So as you can see, it's got me like Big Boom, it's got my logo. And of course, that, I mean, this is a small world, so it loaded really quickly. But if you have a massive world with all this stuff, the loading screen will be there for a lot longer, and people can look at it and, and admire your beautiful work. But anyway, that is how you add custom loading screens and thumbnails to your own levels. It's extremely simple, and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Have fun with your fancified worlds. Make sure to upload them to the Unturned community, so that way I can check them out. I eventually plan on doing a map showcase where I showcase the community's custom made maps in the level editor because I feel like there's a lot of potential for some awesome maps to be made in Untune 3.0 so if you have any sort of fancy maps make sure to link them to me and I'll be sure to check them out but anyway that is all I have for now make sure to rate, comment, subscribe and do all that to work because you want big boom it's out <laughs>